And so we come to the end of another day of telecasting. We sincerely hope you have enjoyed the programs we have presented for you today. We will return to the air later this morning with our regularly scheduled programs. WDAY-TV is owned by Forum Communications Company and operates on a power of 1,000 kilowatts on Channel 6 by permission of the Federal Communications Commission. Studios and offices are located at 301 8th Street South Fargo, and our transmitter is located one mile east of Amenia, North Dakota. We hope you have enjoyed the programs presented today on WDAY-TV. Good night.
WDAC Television now ends its day of telecasting. We welcome you to share your opinions about our programming by visiting our website, WDAZ.com. WDAZ-TV is owned by Forum Communications Company and operates with a power of 19,000 watts on Channel 8 by permission of the Federal Communications Commission. Studios and offices are located on Highway 2, Devil's Lake, and at 2220 South Washington, Grand Forks. Our transmitter is located nine miles north of Petersburg, North Dakota. On behalf of everyone at WDAZ, we hope you have a pleasant evening. Good night. One. At Grand Forks, it was cloudy with a temperature of 2. In Minnesota, it was 1 at Detroit Lakes. At Fergus Falls, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of 1. At Park Rapids, it was cloudy with a temperature of minus 2. Elsewhere over the region, it was clear with a temperature of minus 1 at Aberdeen and 5 at Sioux Falls. At Winnipeg, it was mostly cloudy with a temperature of minus 8. Once again at 2 o'clock a.m. at Fargo, it was mostly cloudy and the temperature was 2, with a wind chill of minus 12. At Moorhead, it was partly cloudy and the temperature was 3, with a wind chill of minus 10. You are listening to NOAA's National Weather Service radio station WXK42, operating at a frequency of 162.475 MHz. Transmitting from tower facilities near media. Weather radio for the Fargo area. The current time is 2.47 a.m. Central Standard Time.